we're going to be looking at some OCG trends and some other things to kind of put together a list of top five cards that you might want to be keeping an eye out for or make sure that you just kind of have in your possession as we head on into some of the later stuff. So these are cards you should pick up March 2021 edition. And uh, these are going to be pretty far out. I'm not going to lie. All right. Guys, make sure you smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more stuff. So I actually have a Stardust profile that's filmed that we have not uploaded yet, which is actually going to lead us into the first card we're going to talk about here, which is going to be Junk Speeder. Now, originally I think you guys saw us talk about Junk Speeder, oh god, uh, during the Master World Revision, everybody kind of lost their mind over it. Well, Dawn of the Majesty is coming out here, and with that new release, of course, more Stardust support. Now, uh, the build I actually played against makes Shooting Quasar Dragon. Uh, yeah, Shooting Quasar, the new uh, level 12 Synchro, makes Stardust Warrior, and it ends on, like, Crystal Wing. So, you, you understand, like, that's a lot of stuff to deal with in the game. So, Junk Speeder, it's a Synchron Tuner plus one non-tuner. Uh, the absolutely cool thing about this is just Junk Synchron uh, plus, uh, what is it, the guy that you can discard to search for a uh, tuner? No, yeah, to search for any sort of Synchron monster from the deck. You can just revive it. And then on Synchro Summon, you can special summon as many Synchron Tuners as possible with different levels from the deck and defense position. Um, I just want to say that you do hard lose to Ash Blossom. But, um, if you resolve your Junk Speed, you're going to win the game. You ask about summon from monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the except for Synchro Monsters to turn you activate this effect. And when tag is declared involving this card that was Synchro Summoned this turn uh, with another monster, you can make this card's attack become double its original attack to the end of the turn. We don't really care about that. But, if this card did get a reprint in the OTS, I don't think it's going to go too ham bonkers at the moment, but it's literally the Penny Stonks of Penny Stonks right now, like... Two, two bucks gets you like three of them, all right? But you only play one as it is. So I would kind of just keep an eye on the Stardust market, monitor those Quasars and those other cool things because the deck is really freaking cool. Next up on our list here is Speedroid cards. Now, with the impending Duelist pack coming out here, or the Legendary Duelist, um, you can pretty much already assume that we're going to see some of these cards get some sort of reprint, um, if not like more Crystal Wing, more Clear Wing, Fast Dragon support. But there are things out there that you can pick up already. Like you have Chambara, you have Terror Top, you know, you have plenty of older Speedroid cards that might get some sort of reprint along the way. But the biggest thing I've always noticed with these things is everybody loves their original rarities, all right? Can you smell it? Oh, man, if it's not OG print, I don't want to play it. All right, and that, that's just the mentality that some people have. Now, one of the biggest ones that I think you're probably going to want to keep an eye out on is going to be the Spheroid Car Turbo. Uh, if you control a wind monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot activate monster effects for the rest of this turn, except for wind monsters. You manage this card and one Speedroid monster in your uh, from your graveyard. All wind monster control currently gain 800 attack till the end of this turn. This is actually something that I uh, saw on a couple of Japanese buy lists, actually, that uh, stores are kind of particularly losing uh, or losing inventory on. Like They, they want to buy these. So... <sighs> A lot of you guys are like, well, Robbie, how do, how do we get this information? Just Japanese Twitter, you kind of look through some of the store buy list. And it, it's always interesting when you look at these things because it's like, well, it kind of helps us kind of zoom in on things. I do kind of think this card might get a reprint along the way, to be honest. Um, I do think the car turbo is a very interesting card for the archetype. I mean, a free 800 boost is going to ensure the OTK. It's also on, what, a level three tuner? So it's really good. Penny stunks, by the way. All right. Next up on our list here, um, this is a personal one. It's Chaos Space. Now, Chaos Space has been doing relatively interesting things in price. Now, obviously, like, you have the CRs, which, as I'm making this video, are like 70 to 75 for unlimbs, which isn't horrible. Obviously, first editions are going to run you whew, so much more. First editions are 130 on up to 150 right now. 
Now, the only reason why I bring up Chaos Space is because the way that this card is inherently designed, you already know that there's going to be a way to bust it at some point in the future. Honestly, I think this card should probably be limited to one, but as of making this video, if you want to play any sort of like Dragon Link variant or anything like that, you need these, all right? Because they get to the Wyverns, which get to the Extenders, which also ends up being reverse draw power for the deck at the end of the day, which... <laughs> really says something uh, like when you make a card as good as this the card is either going to go to the moon even further you're already looking at six freaking dollars per unlim copies of the base super rares all right now think about that all right and that's not what you want to see in a card like this but this is definitely going to be one of those cards that you're going to want to keep an eye on for the long term here because when it has searchability Recur ability, yeah, because it shuffles back, and draw power, all written onto one card. Hmm, hmm. Maybe somewhere along the way, this card's gonna be pretty bonkers. Yeah, who would have actually guessed, huh? Yeah, uh huh, yeah. Not I, not your mom, not your dad. I, <sighs> I'm just saying. Keep an eye on Chaos Space at this point in time, uh, because really depending on how this goes in the future, it's either going to go to one or it's going to keep going up. All right. Next up on our list here is Trap Tricks. Oh my gosh. So you guys know we're getting our next line of support here in June. All right. And I'm already seeing Reflasias have gone up in price. Sarah's need a reprint. Sarah's, as of making this video right now, are $25. They've gone up even higher. All right. You also get the Amazement package in the next set, which gives you, uh, what? So anytime a trap card resolves, you can special summon the big guy. The big guy lets you equip the Book of Moon trap card from your deck to one of your opponent's monsters, which, hey, interactivity it's good uh the biggest ones that you might want to consider looking at um i mean what is it you only really play one of Gris griselia if you even want to play it uh Genlesia is the name of it uh Genlesias are dollars which aren't even that like expensive as it is but i would definitely i'd keep an eye on some of the stuff like the trap tricks cards um just because of like the future support that's come are to come. And I guarantee you Bortle would definitely agree. He'd be like, ah, Trap Tricks. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's literally Bortle's deck. Every, every time I see that man play the deck, it's like poetry. Uh, we uh, we do have a list uh, also that'll come out here in the future of the channel. Uh, it's Amazement Trap Trick. It was played during round one of this month's Zodiac tournament. And I was watching some of the interactions from this deck, and I'm like, that's really actually kind of cool. That's where I got the Amazement idea. Uh, where you would just buff some of the big guy off the trap card. By the way, it's any uh, opponent or opponent's trap card as well. So if they like try to imperm you or something, haha, you get to buff some of the big guy from your hand as well. So which just gives you the Book of Moon interruption through the opponent's turn. Then you can banish other amazement cards to interrupt their stuff. It, it's cheesy, but it's it's something that you can actually do with the deck. So it's uh, kind of interesting. Now the last one here is going to be the Ret Time Reviver Emitter. Now the only reason I'm mentioning this is this has actually kind of become a collector's card in the OCG side of things. So if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target one face-up monster on each field. Change them to the face-down defense position, maybe do special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Ret Time emitter once per turn. Now, with that being said, uh, check out this buy list, all right? These were from the Jump Festa Limited Pack 2020, and stores are paying $50 for these things. Um, this card is an immense short print activity over there, and I was going through Twitter and I was kind of reading up on some of these posts. And the card is so hard to get in Japan that a lot of them were picking up English copies just to add to their collection, which I actually thought was really awesome. Like, uh, the American player base finally got something that's easier access than Japan, which definitely was kind of interesting. But this is just a little nudge and nudge here to mention that this card is just way better and cheaper 
on the English side of the game versus the poor Japanese side where this card is just redonkulous value. So I thought that was worth actually mentioning here. So guys, what do you think about top things that you should be looking for right now? Make sure you smash that little crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more like some content. I'll see your beautiful face back here later on in the day for some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vancall 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcall 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcallgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.